Okay, howdy folks. I'm, I'm working on a on a Honda stationary engine. Uh, I think it's a GX160. But anyways, it's been in a shed with lots of rust and, or lots of moisture and um, I guess fertilizer or all that type of stuff too. So, um, uh, In taking it apart, the guy told me it was seized. Well, it wasn't seized. Well, it was seized in a sense. You can see how rusted up the linkages are. Well, the coil was, there was so much rust on the flywheel that it wouldn't let it spin only around. <laughs> I finally got it to spin like three quarters of a turn, but it would stop. And I was like, oh man, you know, it must be seized up inside. Eh? Like there was, I thought there was rust up in the head part, but as I took it apart more, I didn't really have to take the head off, which was kind of a bummer but I did just to look in there it's fine the cylinder's fine um anyways I broke off a it's so corroded this engine it, I broke two bolts I broke one here for that holds the the coil and I broke one here that holds some of the linkages for the carb so anyways this is what I do is I take a punch take a nice punch like that and go in where you broke your bolts give it a good crack right in the center you know as good as you can and this one I uh, I had a little bit of stub there I tried with vice grips to get it I couldn't get it so I soaked it up with oil and uh, or WD-40 and I heated it up real good and then after I was finished heating it I uh, gave it a good crack like right on top of the I'm using a a Torx bit that's just a little bit bigger than the hole that I drilled so as you can see here I can't even get it out I, I, I drove that into into the hole that I drilled right on the end of the stud so it's got grip right that's gripping the end of this little thing is gonna be gripping and then I turn it so now after a good heating I managed to free it but the thing is is when I heated it up like I heated it up for a long time eh, and it just slowly give it pressure and and now you can see I had it to move a little bit so save myself ah uh, just see there we go it's coming there she goes okay all right well this one's coming out a lot easier than I than I expected uh, yeah Oh, she's still a little stiff right there. But, anyways, yeah, there you go. That's how to extract a broken bolt. So if you can get a pilot hole drilled on the end of it, look at that. But you got to be careful doing this too, is because sometimes these Torx bits can break off in there and they're a bugger to drill out, eh? But that's one way that I do it. it seems to work. So I'm going to continue on with this one here. You can see the pilot hole that I've, I've drilled. I don't know if you can see in there. And I'm using a small bit, like really small. So there it is there. So yeah, so anyways.